guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It is me, Ella. Today is September. No, it's not. Why did I say that? <laughs> Saturday is what I meant to say. Saturday, August the 12th, 2023. And this is my Halloween video that I've been slacking on. But in my defense, we started second grade this week. And so it's just, you know, we're adjusting to our new schedule, coming off of summer <laughs> onto school and stuff. So it's been uh, an adjustment, but it's been good. It's been going good. Everything's going good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Jesse's enjoying it a lot. The challenging part is Juniper <laughs> is a little bit of uh, a challenge. She's just a challenge. <laughs> She's just a toddler. But anyways, I want to hop on here. Um, I don't remember the last day that I did a Halloween video. I think today's 80 days into Halloween. I'm pretty sure that's what today is because I'm pretty sure yesterday was 81. <laughs> um, we did watch a movie last night, though. Me and Devin did. Jesse is at my sister's. I'm pretty sure he's going to be going there every weekend now. <laughs> uh, but um, we watched a movie. Oh, darn. I don't remember what. I can't remember if it was Paramount Plus or Prime. Devin started it. So I think it was Paramount Plus, though. But it was called The House on the Bayou. I'm pretty sure. I'll pop up a picture. It was a really good movie. It's, it kind of had a multiple twists in it. Like... You're going and going and going, and I was like, oh, this isn't like a ghost movie or something like that. This is going to be like a uh, slasher movie, you know, like actual humans that are bad guys. And then I was like, no, wait a minute. This isn't going to be like that. It's going to be something else. And then it did it again, and I was like, wait, what? what? <laughs> and it was confusing, but also really good. And it ended fairly well for some of the people. <laughs> not so good for other people. But, uh, hmm. I don't know how to say it. it's not a ghost movie it's not a just like a humans killing humans type thing it's it has a little bit of a religious type uh feel to it but it's not like demons <laughs> that makes sense i don't know it's a pretty good movie i suggest you watch it uh there was no nudity or relations scenes which is nice i always love it when they don't have to add those to movies because they almost always never have anything to do with the story they're just there for you know people to see but uh, it was pretty good. It does have some bad words in it. You know, it's a horror movie. So, uh, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I think I rated it four out of five jack-o'-lanterns because um, I felt like the first part of it, I felt like it was really just going along. Like it was moving along really quick. Like it don't, it was moving so fast that it was almost like it was skipping parts of the story. Um, maybe that was something that happened in post-production, you know, where they had to cut scenes to for time or something. But it was pretty good overall. I thought it was a good movie. And... Um, the people who died in it almost, you know, they kind of deserve to die. <laughs> I guess it depends on your view on people and personalities and stuff. But, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was a good movie overall. Four out of five Jack Lawrence. But, yeah, I did not, I haven't worked on my Halloween blanket in, like, three or four days. But it's okay because I still got plenty of time. I still have all of September and a lot of Hall or <laughs> October to work on it. But I did get a little bit happy amount today that I want to share with you guys. Ooh. We got some went Halloween sh shop, like window shopping today. We didn't buy anything. Although there was so much that I wanted if I had a lot of money and a bigger house. I would have came home with a truckload. But we went to, um, first we went to Big Lots, which, uh, I know up north it's got a different name. I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember. <laughs> but it's like a clothes out store. But they always have the best Halloween decorations that's like, uh, not super crazy, ridiculously expensive. Um, and they had all kinds of cool stuff, and there was all kinds of stuff there that I wanted, but I have nowhere to put it, and June would probably break it anyways. And then we went to Five Below, but they, they didn't have their Halloween stuff out yet. And then we went to the Dollar Tree, and they still haven't finished stocking their Halloween stuff. It's still back to school, but it's really, like, picked through and almost empty, so I think, I'm hoping that they'll hurry up and pull that stuff and put out the rest of their Halloween stuff. Because I need some Halloween treat bags, because I'm doing a Halloween swap again this year like I do every year, and, um... I need some treat bags. I'm out of treat bags. But, uh, anyways, I think Devin just got home. I just saw it pop up on my phone, so I'm going to wait and see what he is doing here. Because he was supposed to be going to his dad's, but he's only been gone for a few minutes. So, uh, and then I'll finish doing this video. False alarm. <laughs> it was just like a delayed notification. He's still at his dad's house. Because we have left 360, so we can, you know, make sure each other's not dead or kidnapped. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I got two little packages today. It was so funny when the post lady brought it out. They're like the same size and shape. <laughs> But they're two different packages. I thought it was so weird. I was expecting this this first one that I'm going to show you. I wasn't expecting the other one. 
but I love them both. <laughs> so this first one came from Neva, which is from Manic Mama Musing. She's also doing the 100 Days of Halloween. I'm pretty sure she's the one that started it. And it's got bubble wrap, which I'm going to save. Because the other day I had to send someone something. I didn't have any bubble wrap, so I used a Notions pouch as padding. But, oh, I just noticed there's a sticker in here. Bonus. <laughs> Anyways, she purchased, she was at the Dollar Tree in her area. She lives in New Mexico, I think. Right? Yeah. Which is really far away from me. <laughs> but, you know, America's huge. Every, everywhere's far from everywhere. Uh, she... I mentioned in one of my Halloween videos that I was looking for the potion bottles at the Dollar Tree. And she said she was at hers looking for skeletons, which mine still hasn't put those out either. And so she, she found some and she sent them to me. So that's so sweet of her to do that. And they did make it unbroken. And then there was a sticker I just noticed. And it says, do what brings you joy. So pretty. And she did write a little note just explain that. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Neva. I still got to message you and let you know. I'll do that before I put this video out. Just because it's been a busy day. We've been running around to all those different stores. And it's started storming on us in the middle of that. And then this next package is one I wasn't expecting at all. It is from Jackie. I didn't open it all the way. Because it was in the truck. But she went to her Dollar Tree as well. Which is so funny. And it the they were the same shapes. But one, this one wasn't in a box. I thought that was so funny. Uh, can't get it out. And the other day I showed a puzzle that my sister found at the Dollar Tree that she bought for me because it was a crochet squares. And then I kept looking for at them at mine and I couldn't find any more because I wanted to do them for giveaways. And so Jackie found some at her Dollar Tree and she sent them to me. So she sent me two of the granny square ones. Which I still haven't got to do mine because I, I don't really have nowhere to do it. But I really want to do it and then Mod Podge it or whatever and hang it up somewhere. And uh, so I got two of those that I could put in my little giveaway stash. Because this is the same one that I already have. Look at that package. And then these two, I've never even seen these ones. These ones, I'm going to show you the front. This is what the front looks like. It does have knitting needles in it, but that's okay. But it's yarn. But the back of it has, you know, you can see a lot more yarn in the puzzle. So that's awesome. So I will be keeping one of these. One of them accidentally cut when I was opening the package. Which one was it? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, here. This one. So I'm gonna keep the one I accidentally cut open <laughs> with the knife because I was like excited. But I and mean, plus it's a different one, so I'm gonna keep it and mod podge <laughs> it too and um, hang it up. But then this one will go also in my giveaway stash, which there's gonna be another giveaway in the Halloween, the Happy Halloween that I'm hosting. Uh, there's gonna be two winners for that at the end of September, well, the beginning of October. So I might give one of these to each of the people and then I'll have an extra one to uh, hold on to as well. Maybe for like a Christmas related thing or a swap because I'm really th I'm thinking about doing the ornament swap again this year. I took a hiatus on doing that the year I was pregnant and then last year. So I haven't done it since 2020. Um, but I think I'm going to do that again this year. So, if you're interested in that, I'll be looking for an announcement about that sometime in September. I will, if I do decide to do that, I will. I might limit the amount of people that sign up, though. Because the hardest part of the ornament swap is keeping track of everybody who's already sent packages. Because um, I've had it happen before where someone says that they're going to send a package, but then they, they don't. So, I don't want someone to get a package who didn't send one to their, their buddy, you know. That's not nice. But, um, anyways... I'm going to figure all that out between now and September-ish. But anyway, that was from Jackie. So she just wrote on here that she saw them at her Dollar Tree and she wanted to send them to me. So thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Neva. <laughs> and uh, so now I can, I have no idea what I want to do with these, but I know that I wanted them. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, I want to put like, like this one says trimmed spider hair. So I could get like some black yarn maybe and like separate it and put it down in there. This one says unfiltered poison, so I could put like just some liquid in there. And it's amber glass, so I could just put water in there and it would still look different. This one says wool of bat magic. I don't know what that is, but I could like tear up a cotton swab maybe and stick down in there. And the other one is witch's brew. So again, I could maybe put um, some water in there with like some glitter or something in it. Just to make it look different and then just use it as decorations. Because <laughs> this is fun. I'm just a Halloween person. I love having Halloween art. If we owned a house, we still live in an apartment. So we still have to keep it, you know, decent for them to come in and inspect and stuff. But whenever we get to own a home, if the housing market ever gets better, 
Um, I might leave a lot of Halloween-y stuff up year round. Because I'm a spooky person all year round. I love Christmas, too. I love Christmas and Halloween. But I really think Halloween is above Christmas to me. Uh, I love the family togetherness of Christmas. And getting to go do all the family things. It's so much fun. But, like, Halloween is just... I just, I've always been drawn. I've always been like a creepy kid, you know, ever since I was a kid. <laughs> I've been one of those like Tim Burton kids, you know. Um, and I, I had an emo stage when I was a teenager. Uh, so I was just always, you know, I've always been drawn to stuff like that. Witches and Halloween-y, spooky stuff, scary movies, all that kind of stuff. So that's like a part of my soul. So I need to put it on display. <laughs> but anyways, I'm blabbing a lot. Let's see here. I talked about the movie. I don't have anything to show you about my blanket. I did finish that one hat. Well, I mean, it's not all the way done. The hat's done, but I still got to make the band. And then I got to make two more hats. <laughs> and then I, I've already been thinking about my um, little amigurumi for Halloween for August. I think I'm going to make little witches. Actually, I have one. Let me show you. I can't remember if I made this last year or the year before that. But it's called the Smallest Witch. <laughs> it's kind of a bigger amigurumi. But it's really cute, and it was fairly easy to make. So I think I might make three of these for that. Maybe make her outfit a different color. Like, make a black and white one like this one, and then maybe make one with, like, a purple outfit. And then maybe... I don't know. I might change the skin tone, too. Because a lot of... I might make a brown one. Or a couple brown ones. Because a lot of the kids in my apartment complex are brown-skinned. I don't know how to say that without being, without it being weird. But they have brown skin. So it might be nice to put a few brown skin ones in there. But I always... I have always personally loved green witches. <laughs> I don't know. I just... From my childhood, you know, like all the cartoony witches were always like green. And I just love her. <laughs> I just love her. I think she looks good with that mouth. You know, I just she's just so cute. Look at her little legs and she's got little underwear on. <laughs> I just love her. She's so pretty. I love like the typical green witch with a black outfit. That's always been like my favorite. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's what I've been doing this Halloween-y. Um, yeah. Um, I want it so bad. Everything at the big lots. <laughs> they got the cutest decorations. I am working it's down here on the floor. I'm going to do I'm working on a different type of drunk journal. I know it's been a while since I talked about drunk journals, but um, this one you make out of envelope, like like a stationary kit. You buy it's envelopes with cards, and this actual this particular one was given to me by my friend Phyllis, uh, and it's just this one that she gave me is browns. So I I did ten envelopes and I think six cards in there, and you glue them together a certain way to make it a book. And the glue that I have takes forever to dry, so I did the book part two days ago and took out forever draw and then yesterday I did the spine part glued this piece of fabric on there and this ribbon that's going to tie it together later but I still got to decorate the cover which is this side and uh, with paper and stuff so I'll move this ribbon and decorate this part and then the that's to close it you know how it closed and it's kind of long because you never know how thick this is going to get when you start putting stuff in it but it's got um you know, so it's got the envelope pockets. I don't know if you can see that. But then some of the pages have cards that fold out. And you can either glue those in there or make it to where they slide out. And then from where you glue it together, there's like a little pocket at the top. They can stick stuff down in. And um, so I'm just working on that. I just, you know, I just started having got to decorate. And I still got to trim this off, this extra fabric. And uh, this one is going to be kind of like a cottagey core themed one. Because um, I got a lot of like stuff like this little decorative things that's like cottage core <laughs> and um what is it called it's like cottage corey and like um vintage like victorian-ish so i will probably use this for just like a actual journal where i just write thoughts and stuff in and then i got my halloween one pulled out over there <laughs> that my friend made me years ago and i've been holding on to it waiting to use it and the other day i printed out pictures from all the Halloweens since we had Jesse. So from his first Halloween where he was uh, six months. Well, he was a day from being six months because uh, his half birthday is November 1st. <laughs> but um, from his first Halloween all the way to last year, I have printed out a bunch of just photos that I love that we took those years. And I'm going to put those in there and then I'm going to try to remember because it's been a while. <laughs> um, things, you know, that we did and all that and and brought down costumes and stuff on the little note cards and stuff and then this year I can work on it either after Halloween or I can just wait and do it next year um but it's pretty big it's got a lot of space in it. I could probably squeeze a few more years in there and then it'll be kind of like a scrapbook um from the kids early Halloweens and then 
eventually when it gets full, I can either make another one or try to see if she'll make me another one because her, hers is really cute. She's way better at paper crafting than me, but she's she does it more professionally, if that's what you call it. You know, she sells stuff at craft fairs and stuff. Um, I don't. <laughs> I get halfway done with something and then I'm like, that looks horrible and I don't finish it. But, you know, practice is how you make progress. So... I'm getting there. But anyways, I found this video of how to make this on TikTok. And if I can figure out how, I'll link it below. But I might just have to put the person's username down there. Um, because it was a really easy tutorial and I liked it. And it's going to be really cute, I think, once I get to the decorating part. Right now, I'm just on the functional part, making it functional. And uh, the glue took forever to dry. I'm using this kind of... Some of the people in the videos use this kind. Some people use a different kind. But some of these glues are like ridiculously expensive. And I want to get some of those um, glue sticks that's from Scotch brand. But they're like $10 each. So I got this one. It's Elmer's. I don't know how good it is. But I thought I'd try it. It was, I think it was like 4 or $5. But, and plus my Walmart didn't have any of the Scotch ones. Because if they had it, I probably would have bought it. But um, most of the people in the videos use the Scotch brand one. So I'm assuming they're better like stick better anyways i'm blabbing now <laughs> i have some clips i took and some of them are, are of june wearing that hat but it will be censored because she wasn't wearing a shirt and uh so i will censor it but it's still really cute and i got some really cute pictures from it um and if i have any other clips i'll put them in there and i'm gonna try to do better but you know with school starting back it's just hard <laughs> i'm just busier even more busier than i ever am um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'm going to get, I made my sweater video. I got to edit it and get it uploaded. And then I will see you in another video, I guess. I got to crochet and stuff. <laughs> Do an easy dinner tonight. Probably some kind of frozen meal that's in the freezer. And yeah, I guess that's it. Anyways, <laughs> bye guys.